Sir, let me repeat my question. Did you ever speak to the president about this complaint? Congress is investigating allegations that President Trump pushed a foreign government to dig up dirt on his Democratic rivals. It's just a Democrat witch hunt. Here we go again. At the heart of an impeachment inquiry is a nine-page whistleblower complaint that names over two dozen people. Not counting the president himself, these are the people that appear the most. First, Trump's personal lawyer, Rudolph Giuliani. According to documents and interviews, Giuliani has been involved in shadowy diplomacy on behalf of the president's interests. He encouraged Ukrainian officials to investigate the Biden family's activities in the country, plus other avenues that could benefit Trump, like whether the Ukrainians intentionally helped the Democrats during the 2016 election. It was an agenda he also pushed on TV. And so you did ask Ukraine to look into Joe Biden? Of course I did. A person Giuliani worked with? Yuri Litsenko. Ukraine's former prosecutor general. He pushed for investigations that would also benefit Giuliani and Trump. Lutsenko also discussed conspiracy theories about the Bidens in the U.S. media. But he later walked back his allegations, saying there was no evidence of wrongdoing by the Bidens. This is where Hunter Biden comes in, the former vice president's son. He served on the board of a Ukrainian energy company, run by this guy, who's had some issues with the law. While Biden was in office, he, along with others, called for the dismissal of Litsenko's predecessor, a prosecutor named Viktor Shokin, whose office was overseeing investigations into the company that Hunter Biden was involved with. Shokin was later voted out by the Ukrainian government. Litsenko replaced him, but was widely criticized for corruption himself. When a new president took office in May, Volodymyr Zelensky, Zelensky said that he'd replace Litsenko. Giuliani and Trump? not happy. They viewed Lutsenko as their ally. During a July 25th call between Trump and the new Ukrainian president, Trump defended him, saying, I heard you had a prosecutor who was very good, and he was shut down, and that's really unfair. In that phone call, Trump also allegedly asked his counterpart to continue the investigation into Joe Biden, who is his main rival in the 2020 election. Zelensky has publicly denied feeling pressured by Trump. That nobody push it. Push me. Yes. In other words, no pressure. And then finally, Attorney General William Barr, who also came up in the July 25th call. In the reconstructed transcript, Trump repeatedly suggested that Zelensky's administration could work with Barr and Giuliani to investigate the Bidens and other matters of political interest to Trump. Since the whistleblower complaint was made public, Democrats have criticized Barr for dismissing allegations that Trump had violated campaign finance laws during his call with Zelensky and not passing along the complaint to Congress. House Democrats have now subpoenaed several people mentioned in the complaint as an impeachment inquiry into the president's conduct continues.